Welcome to The Terrible Take, a mini-podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Alex Kazora. If the Steelers draft a quarterback this year, it won't be Trevor Lawrence, nor Zach Wilson, Justin Fields, and it looks like they're out of the running in the Trey Lance sweepstakes. That is, if they were ever even in contention to begin with. Pittsburgh didn't send any decision makers Mike Tomlin or Kevin Colbert to North Dakota State's Pro Day last Friday. With Lance playing just one game in 2020 and not attending any All-Star games, it's almost impossible to see Pittsburgh take the chance on Lance, even in some aggressive, hypothetical, trade-up scenario. That leaves Pittsburgh with only a couple options. Alabama's Mac Jones, who probably also gets taken before the Steelers are on the clock at pick 24. At this point, the odds of them taking a quarterback in the first round seem slim. And though I'm a go-big or go-home guy when it comes to drafting the position, the Steelers might not feel the same way. Remember in that loaded 2018 class filled with guys like Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, Baker Mayfield, the Steelers waited until the third round to draft a quarterback, trading up for Mason Rudolph. Could it be a similar story in 2021? And if so, who could be on the radar? Perhaps Florida's Kyle Trask. There's been rumblings that the team likes his game. To me, Trask isn't a franchise-caliber quarterback, but he's far from awful either. He had a great year with the Gators and showed tremendous accuracy on short and intermediate throws. If Pittsburgh cares about production, they'll find it in Trask, who threw for 43 touchdowns in 2020. Several draft analysts have compared him to Mason Rudolph. To you or I, that might not sound like a glowing endorsement. To the Steelers, who have claimed to have had a first-round grade on Rudolph and, of course, drafted the dude, that might be music to their ears. Of course, every player evaluation is different, and Matt Canada wasn't even on snap when Pittsburgh took Rudolph. Personally... I hope they stay far away from any quarterback outside the top five in this class. But the Steelers board doesn't care one iota about what you or I think. Who knows? Maybe in 2022, we're debating if Kyle Trask will prove to be the heir to Ben's throne. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Dave Bryant every Tuesday and Friday.